Okay, I call to order the reorganizational meeting of the Board of Supervisors for the term between January 1, 2022. Um, Mr. Hunt, could you have a roll call, please? Yes, uh, Mr. Warren. Here. Mr. Scares. Here. Mr. Cheshire. Here. Mr. Barksdale. Here. Mr. Dalton. Here. Mr. Dudley. Present. Thank you. And Mr. Ingram. Here. Thank you. Any additions or revisions to the agenda? Yes, sir, Mr. Smidlin, I have three. Uh, one of them is resolution 2022-01-01. And the second is 2022-01-02. And a motion uh, required on requesting a public hearing regarding the Fire and Rescue Commission. And so I humbly request by way of motion that we move these below to uh, item uh, below six. Can we have copies of the resolutions, please? You sure can. Thank yeah. you. We'll that. Okay, we have a motion. Yes, I'll make a motion. I need a second. Well, yes. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I said okay. we have a motion. All right, second. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's appropriate to put this after chairman's appointments. Um, and I would place this as item uh, 12A and we'll make adjournment item 12B. And we'll do those in order, 0102, and then a motion regarding a public hearing related to the Fire and Rescue Commission. And so we put them after number six? After number 11. Okay. 12A, 12B? Since that's new business. Or 11. Yeah. Okay, that'll be fine. Any comments? Any discussion? Yes, sir. We'll take comments now. Yeah, I'm going to vote against this. Uh, Vic Ingram has a habit of adding issues that have not been reviewed by any committee or the board. And so my vote would be no on the adding these motions. <clears throat> Other comments? Yes, sir. I, I'm respectfully going to have to vote. Uh, no to add it simply because I hadn't even had a chance to look at it. I don't know what it is. I may I may be fine with it, but it'd be nice to have a view of it uh, prior to walking in and having a meeting with that. So Mr. Hunt, as the, this is a special call meeting, all board members are present. Is it a simple majority to add to the agenda? It is, yes. Okay. Any other comments? Okay, all in favor of adding these three items to the agenda indicate by a raised hand. Okay, four to three. And now uh, we need to approve the agenda as amended. Need a motion in that regard, please. I'll make that motion. Thank you. I'll second. Thank you. Are you getting these? Motion second. Okay, all in favor of adopting the amended agenda, please signify by raising your hand. Four, three, but. Okay, um, agenda is approved. And we added those items after chairman's appointments as um, 11A, B, C, and adjournment will be 11 B. Okay, now. I will accept nominations for chair. I nominate oh, Vic Ingle. No second. And that's okay. I nominate Mr. Barksdale. Jesse Barksdale. Second. You second that? Very good. I sustain. You sustain? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I need a second. I'll second. Any other nominations? Okay, the nominations are closed and your bylaws state that you vote in the order in which the nominations occur. All in favor of Mr. Ingram. Any, any opportunity to make comments before the vote? 
Um, motion second. I, I think that's appropriate, yes, sir. I have a few comments to make. Sounds like we've already decided where we're going uh, with the, the future of this county. And I just wanna make sure that these new board members know that Dick is a liar. He's been a cancer to the leadership of this county for the last two years. I can recount every public comment he's made where he's either twisted the truth or he's lied, flat out lied. One of the big, biggest things he's done is don't go after our county administrator, one of the few people that this board supervises. He made the comment in the Star Tribune that he was only here for a paycheck. How he understands the thinking of Mr. Smith and then when he hardly talks to him is beyond my, my ability to grasp. He's also gone to the Fire and Rescue Commission in the last two meetings and slandered Mr. Smith. His one comment was that the uh, biggest threat to the fire rescue community as it is today is Mr. Smith and his four year plan. When they asked for that four-year plan, Mr. Ingram could not supply it. He said, go to the public safety director, he has it. Chris Slint didn't have the four-year plan. The only four-year plan Mr. Smitherman had was a four-year budget plan that kept taxes level for the last four years. And the budgeted money that he had proposed for fire rescue probably overpaid five to 700,000 more than he projected over that four years. That doesn't sound like a threat. Especially when you go through and look at the million dollar ARPA money that was given to fire and rescue and at least five ambulances that were given to them in the past year. Doesn't sound like a big threat to me, but he went and lied to that commission twice. That's just one of the lies he said during his diaphragm. As far as I'm concerned, he doesn't have the integrity or the character to serve in a leadership position. So I hope you'll rethink that as we go along. The last board censured Mr. Ingram. There's probably at least eight issues that we censured him on. But this all came to a culmination of two years of putting up with his antics. And the last thing he did was disparage a sitting board member. I felt they were racist in overtones, but it, it could have just been derogatory. It came out, this board had to take action. We gave Mr. Ingram an opportunity to apologize and even go into closed session to discuss these issues. He would not go into closed session. It left us with nothing. We couldn't do anything else but censure him. One of the other big issues with that censure, he goes out and investigates county employees on his own time as a PI, that's illegal. I've got a complaint that I have submitted to the Department of, of uh, Criminal Justice Services I submitted it on the 4th. They assigned the case on the 8th. If you guys want to review this, I have copies. But he's going to get investigated for investigating county employees, which to me is unconscionable. If that's a guy you want to put in as a, the leader of this county, that's fine. The reason I found out about why that was not proper was in our federal case against me, he was called as a defense witness for me, and he lied on the stand. I had posted his testimony on my Facebook page for all best scares in Westover District, and I posted a Facebook Live where he admitted to it himself. That's a, a, a definition of a liar, and the proof is there. That you guys, if you want to put him in charge of the county, fine. I've also contacted the FBI, the Richmond office, to start an investigation on Mr. Andrew for his perjury. And I'm pretty sure the, the U.S. Attorney in Roanoke knows about the situation. Hopefully he'll push it from his end, too. And for your information, that constitutes a five-year jail sentence and a felony. If you want to put that guy in charge of the county, that's up to you. Now, over the past two years, I've tried to keep my mouth shut about the antics of Mr. Ingram. It doesn't look good for the county when these things are brought up in public. It seems like we're kind of in a dire situation right now. You guys have all been through the orientation. You know the big companies that are looking at this county, and they look at the leadership, and they look at every board member, they look at their public comments, their social media comments, and the, this board has done a great job for the last four years in economic development. We are the envy of the state. I fear with Mr. Ingram leading, leading this county, that's gonna disappear. I will give you a guarantee, though, I will continue to work to do the best for this county as every vote I've taken has been for the betterment of this county and the citizens, but I will not work with a liar. 
And I'm going to point out every lie he tells in every meeting, on social media, in the public. If I can get the news media to follow his lies, it's going to get pointed out at every turn, just so you know. All I got is the last thing I'm going to say, we've got a bad leader in Washington what, this year, this past year. It only took him a year to turn our country with all cylinders firing for the most part. He's turned our country into a, a complete mess. And I guarantee you that's what will happen with Vic Ingram's leadership. Thank you. Other comments? <clears throat> Any other comments from the board prior to taking the vote? Okay, first vote is for Mr. Ingram as chairman. All in favor of Mr. Ingram as chairman, please signify by a raised hand. Okay, four to three. And Mr. Ingram is the chairman, and I will turn. Right. The <laughs> chairman, Thank you, Mr. Philip, and to my colleagues, I thank you as well. I, uh, I'm going to take Mr. Sears' advice. I'm going to pray for him on a continual basis. But um, having said that, um, now we open the nomination for vice chair. So having said that, do I have a nomination for vice chair? I nominate Jesse Barksdale. Okay, <coughs> Mr. Barksdale is nominated for vice chair. Second. Jim Cheshire, second. Any discussion? Yes, sir. Ms. Moore. I nominate Tim Dudley. All in favor of Mr. Barksdale being the vice chair, signify by raising your right hand. Thank you. Good to be in the house. Next up is the uh, board bylaws adoption, and I think you've all been given a hard copy, and you've had a copy sent to you by way of email. Do we have a motion to accept the bylaws as written? Yes, we have a motion to accept the Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> all right. Having said that, uh, all in favor, raise your right hand, please. I think we passed on that. Uh, next is the 2022 meeting schedule adoption. Having said that, do I have a motion to accept the meeting uh, schedule? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Judge. Second. All right, all in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, state of committees. Uh, for the benefit of board members, I'm going to share a copy with you of uh, the committee assignments and, and they're going to take you to a copy here. And for the sake of those uh, watching from home, I'm going to systematically read the Thank you, Thank you, Everybody got a copy? All right, as far as the finance and insurance, Daryl Dalton, Chairman, Jesse Barksdale, and Tim Cheshire, and myself. Personnel will be Jesse Barksdale, Chairman, Daryl Dalton, and myself. Uh, property building would be Daryl Dalton, Chairman, Jesse Barksdale, Tim Cheshire. Legislative, Jesse Barksdale, Chairman, myself, Tim Cheshire. Computer Radio Telecommunications, Tim Cheshire, Chairman, Bob Warren, Tim Dudley. Board of Supervisors School Joint Liaison, Bob Warren, Ronald Scarce, Tim Dudley. Economic Development would be myself as Chairman, Jesse Barksdale, Daryl Dalton. Solid Waste, Daryl Dalton, Chairman, Jesse Barksdale, and myself. Uh, the naming committee would be myself, Jesse Barksdale, Daryl Dalton. The Dan Verber Business Development Center would be Jesse Barksdale and myself. Um, uh, Danville, Pennsylvania Riffa would be myself, Jesse Barksdale, alternate Daryl Dalton. Fire and Rescue Commission, Vic Ingram. Local elected officials would be myself. Metropolitan Planning Commission, Jesse Barksdale, myself, alternate Daryl Dalton. Uh, community Action would be Jesse Barksdale. Planning Commission will be Daryl Dalton. Roar River Basin Association, Tim Cheshire. Uh, Sarah, Local Emergency Planning Commission, uh, Tim Cheshire. 
and the county administrator. Uh, Pennsylvania County Social Services Board, Jesse Barksdale. Virginia Association of Counties, myself. West Piedmont Planning District, myself and Jesse Barksdale. Community Policy Management Team will be myself. Stanton River Regional Facility Authority will be Daryl Dalton, Jesse Barksdale, and Tim Dudley. Tri-County Link Advisory Committee, Daryl Dalton, and Danville Utilities Commission will be myself. And I think that brings us down to the items that we had, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Dalton has a resolution 2022-01-01 he'd like to read. And I will, before he reads that, pass out the uh, copies to you guys. introduce this resolution we are <clears throat> Mr. Dalton you go right ahead all right I'd like to read the following resolution resolution 2022-01-01 the following resolution was adopted at the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors reorganization meeting on January 4, 2022 whereas <clears throat> David M. Smelman employee was hired on December 1st, 2016 as the County Administrator of Pennsylvania County. Whereas an employee contract was executed on January 1st, 2020 between employee and Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors with a termination date of December 31st, 2024. Whereas on December 21st, 2021, a majority of the board voted to modify the employee's contract dated January 1st, 2020. The contract was modified to extend the termination benefits listed under section three from lump sum cash payment equal to six months of base salary and benefits at the current aggressive salary to nine months with one third cash bonus, $9,437.30. Whereas it is desired that the majority of the board section two, paragraph B of the employee's employment contract that has employed with Pennsylvania County be terminated immediately. Whereas <clears throat> it is further the desire of the majority of the board to revert back to the original employment contract dated January 1st, 2020 to honor the servant provisions as listed and remove the one-time bonus of $9,437.30 from consideration. If this bonus has been paid, it shall, shall be deducted from the lump sum cash payout. Now, therefore, be it resolved <clears throat> that under section two, paragraph B, whereas the employee works at the pleasure of the board and nothing in the original, nothing in the original contract shall prevent, limit, or otherwise interfere with the rights of the Board of Supervisors to determine the service of employment at any time. Be it known that this board formally terminates the service of David M. Smelman, adopted the fourth day of January, 2022. Hey, gentlemen, that's a motion made by way of resolution. Uh, do I have a second? A second. Any comments? Yeah, I've got plenty. I don't know how you're going to expect to hire a new county administrator when you have one that's done so much for this county. You look at every matrix, whether it's the financial health of this county, and we're almost bankrupt when we hired him, and he's gotten us into a great financial health. You look at the economic development that he's had an active hand in, and every negotiation with the CEOs from the companies like Tyson and Aero Farms, and then you go down to what he did with the... Uh, last concert, the, the rock festival, that he saved almost on his own and 
made sure the county had a $500,000 cash bond to make sure that all of our people got paid from that event. I could go on and go on, but this is the direction this board is gonna take. I shame on you. Mr. Mr. Barksdale is fully aware how long it took us to find a county administrator when we hired Mr. Smith. It was at least a six month progress. You're gonna set the county behind for at least six months as we try to find a new county administrator. You guys, you guys are, you're shameful. Thank you, Mr. Spears. Any other comments, Mr. Warren? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. I would, I would make the comment that, uh, you know, we're at a time when regionally we're all looked at as the standard barrier for economic development and other things are changing from what was nearly a broke county back to being in a good financial position. Uh, without question, the recent negotiations uh, on the solar that was just approved that potentially could bring $42 million to the taxpayers of this, this county, which is huge. Um, and it, it is apparent that it's the largest single economic development operation we've had so far in revenue production. Um, and it's never been done before in the county. Everybody's looking now because we instituted the site planning. And, you know, that's Mr. Smitherman and Mr. Hunt uh, did those negotiations. And I think that's prompted <coughs> what the board saw is uh, part of why the 5% bonus was reasonable at the time. I do think, as I've stated many times, I think he puts together a, an outstanding team. He's worked very well with um, his colleague out of Danville and also the other organizations that the county administrator is affiliated with from the Institute <laughs> to the Danville Regional Foundation, and I could go on and on, but uh, I'm disappointed um, for him and for his family because I think he deserved better and I think he certainly should have deserved the opportunity for you all to work with him before doing that. Um, if you're doing it because of personal reasons, then that's just wrong. If you're doing it for business reasons, I understand it and I will certainly be willing to sit down and talk with anybody about it and do point counterpoint because the strengths far outweigh any negatives. So I'm just uh, very disappointed that we're at this point. This is a real blow to the county, especially with what we have going on right now uh, and the interest that exists in the mega site. We're just sending a terrible message. You know, I'm a firm believer that elections have consequences, and you know, this is where we are today. I just hope everybody can uh, rest on what they're doing here. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Warren. Any other comments? I'll have a motion, second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Mr. Smithman, thank you for your service. Uh, We've been in contact with Clarence Mundy, who is uh, at this point going to be the actor. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty soon. Be, uh... Uh, Please, he needs to leave all county property here, including his vehicle. Thank you, sir. All right. Mr. Arnold, you need, will. need a shirt, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. I know things there. And Mr. Arnold, in the meantime, you will. Uh, we're not going to call you the acting 
interim cabinet administrator, but you will be the key person to take your calls and things until we uh, get things worked out with Mr. Bundy. Okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Good job. Okay, come in through, Ron. Uh, having said that, uh, Mr. Cheshire, I believe you have the second resolution, please. Yes, this is Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors Resolution 2022 The following resolution was adopted at the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors Board Reorganization Meeting January 4th, 2022. Whereas on November 5th, 20, 2019, Dick William B. Ingram was duly elected to represent the Tunstall Magistrate magisterial district of Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors. Whereas England is a lifelong resident of Pennsylvania County, a veteran of the United States Air Force, a retired law enforcement officer with 34 years of service. 30 of these years with the Pennsylvania County Sheriff's Office. He has served with dignity and honor and without blemish upon his record. Whereas Ingram has faithfully served his community in the majority of his adult life. He has served on many boards, worked with numerous civic organizations, including but not limited to his tenure as president of the Danville Pennsylvania County Association, Cancer Association. Whereas on October 19th, 2021, resolution number 2021-10-05 was issued by the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors, formally censoring Ingram for a variety of false, libel, and slanderous accusations. Whereas Ingram has admitted adamantly denied the accusations and believes that these are false, libel, and slanderous accusations were politically driven. He has further requested through the Virginia Freedom of Information Act any evidence or basis of such resolution. No such evidence or due process has ever been produced or provided. Now, therefore, be it resolved that it is the board's belief that resolution number 2021 10 is politically driven, that it lacks any factual basis, and that it is presented with malicious intent to embarrass and discredit Ingram and therefore should be stricken from the record. I adopted this day for day of January 2022. Thank you, Mr. Cheshire. What about a second? Second. <clears throat> Any comments? Well, I hope the Department of Criminal Justice Services doesn't find anything wrong with your record. All right. All in favor of signifying but raise your right hand. Anybody else like to get on board? Uh, you're more than welcome to do so. That resolution passed. Thank you, gentlemen. And we have one more motion dealing with fire and rescue. Who's going to present this? Mr. Cheshire? Yes, sir. January 4th, 2022. This motion is to allow for a public hearing regarding the Fire and Rescue Commission. I make a motion that we propose to postpone the January 2020, 2022 Fire and Rescue Commission meeting and advertise a proposed ordinance change to the Pennsylvania County Public Safety Ordinance, Chapter 11 2. The proposed changes are number one, to restructure the membership, allowing each supervisor to appoint one person from their magistrate of the district who has experience in fire and rescue. Number two is a one appointment of a business leader from each of the four quadrants as selected by the respective fire and rescue departments. And number three, no member shall be a full, a part-time or full-time employee of Pennsylvania County. All right, thank you, Mr. Chair. What about a second? Second. <clears throat> Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Signify by raising your hand. Four to three. Having said that, uh, 